technology and retail banking. We all know the product management in retail banking sector which includes product designing, positioning, segmentation, enhancement, feedback, branding, promotions and schemes. Retail banking in India has fast emerged as one of the major drivers of the overall banking industry and has witnessed enormous growth in the recent past. In this lesson, we will state the role of technology in retail banking, explain the meaning and functions of ATM banking, describe the internet banking and mobile banking, explain the RBI's financial sector technology vision document and discuss electronic fund transfer. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain technology in retail banking, discuss automated teller machine, explain internet banking, describe mobile banking and e-commerce, state RBI's financial sector technology vision document and discuss electronic fund transfer and electronic clearing system. Retail bank operations have in the light of recent developments in technology, deregulation and market become more complex. Banks need to handle both standardized and unstandardized services which lead to differentiation between units. Operational technologies concerns the actions replaced by machines in workflow activities. Materials technology concerns the characteristics of raw material acted on the extent to which adjustment to the raw material is needed to analyze as the variability of the raw material. Knowledge technology concerns the complexity of the knowledge used in the workflow at the same time as banks have to ensure product superiority and operational excellence the biggest challenge at the moment is to establish customer intimacy without which the other two are meaningless. In the financial world, product superiority does not last long as it is relatively easy to copy products. It also helps in new business opportunities like cross-selling and upselling, which takes cues from customer aspirations and transaction patterns. An ATM is a computerized telecommunication device that provides the clients of a bank with access to financial transaction in a public space without the need for a cashier, human clerk or bank teller. On the ATMs, the customer is identified by inserting a plastic ATM card with a magnetic stripe or that contains a unique card number and some security information such as an expiration date or CVVC or CVV. Authentication is provided by the customer entering a personal identification number PIN. The main advantage of using an ATM is the fact that you have access to the cash in your bank account whenever you need it. If for instance you are at a store that does not take checks or credit cards but it has an ATM you can withdraw the money for your purchase. This also means you can travel anywhere without cash. If the location has an ATM and you have your ATM card, you can access your money instantly. Technology has enabled banks to extend their services out of the traditional buildings of the bank. The internet banking is changing the banking industry and is having a major effect on banking relationships. Internet banking involves use of internet for delivery of banking products and services. The internet has leveled the playing field of the major banks all over the world and has offered open access to customers in the global marketplace. The internet banking channel is the most cost effective delivery channel for banking companies. Consumers are taking up the various benefits of internet banking. The six primary drivers of internet banking includes in order of primacy are improve customer access, facilitate the offering of more services, increase customer loyalty, attract new customers, provide services offered by competitors and reduce customer attrition.
Mobile banking is a service that allows you to do banking transactions on your mobile phone without making a call using the SMS facility. Mobile banking works on the text messaging facility also called the SMS short messaging service that is available on mobile phones. This facility allows you to send a short text message from your mobile phone instead of making a phone call. This message travels from your mobile phone to the SMS center of the cellular service provider and from there it travels to the bank systems. E-commerce is generally described as a method of buying and selling products and services electronically. The main vehicle of e-commerce remains the internet and the world wide web but uses of email, fax and telephone orders are also prevalent. Electronic commerce is the application communication and information sharing technology among trading partners to the pursuit of business objectives. In B2C business to consumer type, businesses directly sell to the end consumer and are also referred as e-tailing or as virtual storefronts on the websites. B2B business to business medium includes buying and selling of products and service between business organizations through the net. C2C consumer to consumer includes business where consumer themselves deal with other consumer for buying and selling goods and products which may include rare special category and second-hand goods. The Reserve Bank has been facilitating and playing a proactive role for enabling IT services for financial sector. Two approaches adopted by the Reserve Bank to foster IT implementation in banks are provision of products and services, providing basic common requirements for IT use by the banks. This comprise the networks such as the Infinet with the certification authority services and common critical application or systems such as ECS, EFT, PDO NDS, CFMS, RTGS, PKI, SFMS, Infinite and the National Financial Switch. Guidance and Advisory Role Providing guidelines in the form of best practices, requirements for IS audit, standards for IT or IS systems, message formats, new delivery channels, security requirements, etc. RBI released financial sector technology vision document to ensure business continuity in the event of a failure and the need to mitigate the incidence of operational risk. The public sector banks have the biggest challenge since they carry the baggage of legacy procedures and have to change over to latest technology which will have to cater to the needs of all their branches including those at the rural centers. The foreign banks have systems which are generally based on worldwide implementations. The vision document of the RBI proposes specific attention to be devoted to percolation of technology efforts to all types of banks and all sections of the customers in the banks with specific reference to the rural areas. Electronic funds transfer is a system whereby anyone who wants to make payment to another person or company etc can approach his bank and make cash payment or give instructions or authorization to transfer funds directly from his own account to the bank account of the receiver. Funds transfer normally takes place on the same day or at the most the next working day depending upon the time of requesting or effecting such funds transfer. The customer should confirm his aspect from his bank at the time of requesting the funds transfer. EFT facility is available for transfer of funds between bank branches in about 15 major cities and towns across the country. Under another special scheme called Special EFT, many more select branches which are on the computer network of the banks in over 200 cities have been brought into the fold of funds transfer electronically. The RBI displays in its website the details of the banks and the cities where EFT facility is available. Electronic clearing system is a retail payment system that can be used to make bulk payments or receipts of a similar nature. 
especially where each individual payment is of a repetitive nature and of relatively smaller amount. The ECS facility is available in 47 centers across India operated by RBI at places where it manages the clearing houses and by SBI and its associates in other centers. The ECS is further divided into two types. ECS credit to make bulk payments to individuals or vendors and ECS debit to receive bulk utility payments from individuals. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Internet banking involves use of internet for delivery of banking products and services. Right or wrong? Right. Mobile banking works on the internet. Right or wrong? Wrong. E-commerce is the application written document and information sharing technology among trading partners to the pursuit of business objectives. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Retail bank operations have in the light of recent developments in technology, deregulation and market become more complex. Banks need to handle both standardized and unstandardized services which lead to differentiation between units. Operational technologies concerns the actions replaced by machines in workflow activities. An ATM is a computerized telecommunication device that provides the client of a bank with access to financial transaction in a public space without the need for a cashier, human clerk or bank teller. Technology has enabled banks to extend their services out of the traditional buildings of the bank. Internet banking is changing the banking industry and is having the major effects on banking relationships. Mobile banking is a service that allows you to do banking transactions on your mobile phone without making a call using the SMS facility. The Reserve Bank has been facilitating and playing a proactive role for enabling IT services for financial sector. Electronic funds transfer is a system whereby anyone who wants to make a payment to another person or company etc can approach his bank and make cash payment or give instruction or authorization to transfer funds directly from his own account to the bank account of the receiver.